Right, so 16 gig iPad Pro users can finally rejoice because today in iPad OS 15, developer beta 2, it's been revealed that developers can use more RAM on the iPad for their applications. And so let's delve into what this means for us as a user, but also why this does increase the chances of us getting pro apps on the iPad. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so let me begin with some background information on this whole RAM limit situation on the iPad. So basically iOS and iPadOS only lets a specific application use five gigs of the RAM available. And well, this annoyed a ton of iPad Pro users because Apple just gave them 16 gigs of RAM and yet developers could not use any of the additional RAM available. And so yes, it kinda made the purchase a little pointless. Well, thankfully that's no longer the case because Apple's given developers permission to use more RAM on the iPad. However, there are a few things to note. Number one, developers do not have access to all the RAM available. There is still a cap and that's because unlike macOS, iOS and iPadOS do not have swap and so that basically means if an individual app takes advantage of all the RAM and uses all of it, that basically means that everything in the background gets killed and that wouldn't be such a great user experience. Now, in case you're wondering what swap is, this basically allows the SSD to cache apps in the background rather than having them in the RAM 24 seven. Now you may be wondering why the iPad doesn't have this feature, but the Mac does. Well, Apple, if they wanted to, can easily enable this in the software, but I think a potential reason iPads don't have swap is the fact there are iPads with very low internal storage. For example, the budget iPad comes with 32 gigs, and so yes, that would not work very well with swap, but there is a chance that maybe certain configurations of the iPads only get swap, for example, maybe the iPad Pros, since they all have 128 gigs or more. And so yes, maybe we do see this feature in the future, but for now, there is no swap. And so yes, there does have to be a RAM limit. But guys, this is not a massive drawback at all. And that brings me on to my second point, And that is, this cap is no longer fixed. Instead, it will be adaptive based on the configuration the user has. So basically what this means is that while there is still a cap, the cap is gonna be higher on a 16 gig variant. So maybe an application can use up to 14 gigs of RAM on those models. And then maybe on the eight gig variant, it's up to seven gigs and so on. And so basically what this means is that if you did buy the 16 gig variant, you will be getting additional functionality in certain apps with the additional RAM if developers do jump on board and optimize their applications for M1. So yes, if you do use creative apps like Procreate, this could mean more layers, new features, and possibly so much more. And so yes, this really is some exciting news. And I'm glad Apple's finally letting users take advantage of all that additional hardware with the M1 iPad Pro. Honestly, I'm surprised Apple did not mention this at the event because this would have been truly flex worthy and it would have helped iPadOS look less disappointing. And of course, I do wanna say that obviously Apple being more lenient with the RAM use on the iPad could increase the chances of us seeing pro applications on the iPad. Because obviously the biggest issue before was the RAM limit. Apple could not give us pro apps like Final Cut when the application could only use five gigs of the RAM available. And so yes, now with the updates to the RAM cap, there is a chance we could see pro apps on the iPad. Honestly, like I mentioned in my last video that you can check out in the iCard above, I think the main reason Apple did not give us pro apps was the fact that Apple rarely gives us a new iPad OS feature on one model only. For example, when we got mouse support, every iPad that could run iOS 13.4 had the feature. And so yes, I think Apple's waiting for more M series powered iPads to release so that when they do give us pro apps, it won't be exclusive to just one model. It could support potentially three or four devices. 
But of course, I do also understand the argument that maybe Apple does not want the iPad cannibalizing the Mac. And so yes, maybe for that reason we never see pro applications, but I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed anyways that we do eventually see it. But anyways, let me know in the comments below which application do you wanna see take advantage of all this additional RAM. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above about details regarding the iPhone 13. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.